Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, your flavor father, Tasty, and uh, as you can see, it is a historic day for old school RuneScape. <laughs> We are, of course, in the newly released and extremely chaotic tournament worlds where us sweaty players can get our grubby little hands on the new and improved, I guess technically unimproved, uh, de-improved? De the nerfed blowpipe, the nerf gun, it's a, it's a pea shooter now. But remember, it's nerf or nothing. Anyway, I'm going to skip past all the boring content here. We are going to be taking this blowpipe into the only place that matters, the Inferno. Now, this, of course, is not the only place that is going to be affected by this content, but it is, bar none, the most important place that is going to be affected by this new change. Sure, the bosses like Bandos and Zulra are going to be slower now that the blowpipe is marginally worse, but if a couple Venezuelans have slower kill times, I, I, I'm not going to focus too much on that, to be honest. We're going to go into the place where the biggest change is going to happen. The Inferno. Alright guys, I do have a bit of a confession, and I know I'm confessing this a little bit late here, but I am garbage at the Inferno. I am really bad. I might have 4kc, guys, but uh, my uh, task success rate, percentage-wise, is not that high. All of my completions, if I'm being uh, completely honest with you guys here, have been a, a good combination of luck and uh, just bashing my head against it until I get good wave spawn RNG. But if you think that's gonna stop me today, you are absolutely wrong, my friend. Because today, if I die, I can blame it entirely on the blowpipe. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You guys, sit back and just uh, relax. Enjoy my pain and suffering. I'll be back when I die or when I beat this thing. Yo, guys, fun fact. If you uh, log out in the middle of your inferno because you have to take a dump, uh, it does not save your progress at all. So... On our second run through here, we're still here, which means it's going a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, there is a bit of an unforeseen circumstance, and that is that the test servers have garbage ping. It's it's really, really bad. It's very unstable, and it's making flicking nearly impossible. So I'm just going to have to uh, be a little prayer camper and see how far that gets me. But as to my first thoughts on the blowpipe, um, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really not very good. The most noticeable effect is 100% the, uh, the accuracy. I'm hitting a lot of zeros. And we're coming up on wave 31 here, uh, so hopefully we get a blessed spawn, but we'll see. Easy game. Alright, anyway, the biggest thing that I can uh, say to any prospective Inferno doer is that the difficulty is definitely higher. Fundamentally, this has not changed at all, but there are certain situations where high DPS will make you avoid certain mechanics like a, a melee or digging or something like that, and that is not really quite as possible anymore. So the new Inferno doers are going to just have to be better, right? You're just going to have to be better at the Inferno than anyone who got the cape uh, pre-nerf, or until they uh, release some sort of weapon that fills the gap. Hold my beer. Uh, uh, uh. What? What? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh no! I'm watching a Counter Strike stream! Wow, 1kc pet. No. F you, bitch. Wow, one. F you, bitch. Oh my god, 1kc pet. How did we do that, dude? We're so sick. Oh my god. All right, sorry for that mic crackle. Should have fixed that by now. But anyway, boys, I, I tested this out at a few other places, and I just wanted to give my closing thoughts on the blowpipe without keeping this video too long here, because uh, I do want to talk about my 1,000 subscriber giveaway I'm hosting. But yeah, it's it's a little bit worse than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was not gonna be a huge nerf, especially since they unnerfed it a little bit. But in the Inferno, at least, it's still fairly bad. But the intention that they were going for is that they wanted the blowpipe to not be so strong against high defense monsters. It's really fast attack speed makes it quite hard to tune. And they definitely achieved that. I mean, I was really hitting a lot of zeros against, uh, especially like the meleeers. I'm going to give a couple of statistics to uh, end this portion of the video here. Pulled up a DPS sim here for you guys to check out. And I don't want to dwell too long on the nerd shit, but there are a couple figures that we definitely need to go over. So I'm going to take the value if this is 99 range, complete max range gear like Armadil and Rigor. If you have a blowpipe with dragon tarts, you're going to lose 8% DPS on something with zero range defense. Which is not terrible, but when you get up to the higher defense monsters, it can be up to 20%. Now when you take into account all of the monsters in the Inferno, I would say your average DPS loss is going to be about 15%. And I definitely noticed some struggle. I was, I was leeching supplies a lot faster than usual in that Inferno run. And it only gets worse with each tier of dark. Rune goes from almost 9% worse to 22% worse, and uh, Adamant goes from almost 
almost 14% worse to 27.77% worse against a high defense monster. But that's enough of that because you know why? We just cracked 1,000 subscribers this morning and we're still going up, dude. Oh my fucking God. I don't know what YouTube God has blessed me with all of this uh, algorithm goodness, but I, I am not complaining, my guys. I remember making my 100 subscriber video like a, a month ago, dude. Like, oh my God. Anyway, you guys have been nothing but supportive and kind and just hyping me up and I'm I'm beyond stoked on it, boys. So Papa Tasty is a generous man. And as such, I'm going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. See all these juicy lutations in my inventory, guys? We are going to be doing a goodie bag style giveaway with one very special secret. You see that right there? That is an Elijah Spirit Shield that is currently valued over 1 billion GP, and that is going to be in the goodie bag, boys. So how it's going to go down? Similar to my last one, you're going to need to like this video. You're obviously going to need to be subscribed, and you're going to drop a comment with your RSN, and I will choose three to five lucky winners to come and play the game. If we get 300 or under likes, I will pick three. If we get 400, I will pick four. And if we get 500 likes on this video, I will pick five winners to come do the goodie bag. Anyway, that's all I really want to do today, guys, is uh, check out the new blowpipe, see how terrible my life is going to become when I decide to uh, farm that Zuck pet. So I'm going to sign off here. Remember to uh, like this video, subscribe, and then also follow me on Twitch at TastyOSRS. I stream every day. All right, boys, stay tasty.